For more than a century, Union Bank has been serving the people of Fentress County. Now, as we begin a new chapter in our history of service, we want to take this opportunity to reassure you that while our building may be new, we're still the same friendly people you have known for years. Union Bank, the same people, the same goals, and the same commitment to you. Union Bank, your locally owned hometown bank for more than a century, growing to meet your needs. Equal Housing Lender member FDIC. And welcome this edition to Coach Kerry Johnson Sports Show. Coach, uh, joining me, Coach Kerry Johnson and Coach, a tough night on Friday. Well, we knew going in that we it was a challenge. You're playing a, a much bigger school and got a little more depth than, than you do. And, and we got some guys out right now trying to kind of use smoke and mirrors to, 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 to try to match up with some of these people. And um, hopefully we're going to slowly get some of these guys back. We've we got a JV game coming up here tonight. And find out, maybe get some spots filled from this for, for this coming Friday. You talk, you look at the game on Friday night, uh, your guys just could not get any offensive flow at all. No, that's been our issue a lot of times all year long is, is lack of continuity. Uh, we just can't get into a rhythm offensively. Uh, and we're, this week we kind of decided we're going to – we don't do a lot. We, do, we've done, we have a lot of formations. But a lot of times we're doing a lot of the same stuff out of different formations. We're going to kind of uh, simplify a little bit more this week and, and make sure that – uh, sometimes the guys are confused on who they get in, uh, in our in our front line, and so we're going to make sure this week we're going to be have a very physical week, but we're going to make sure the guys know what what their assignment is, especially on our offensive line. Coach, your defense it seemed as though they just couldn't get uh, any type of flow, also. But the big thing was that they just couldn't stop the run against uh, them, but they did in the second half. Well, defensively, our issue is third down. They, they converted seven of eight for the, of the first eight third downs they came up on. They converted on those things. And some of them, it wasn't like they were short. A lot of these were over third and five. And, and they converted one. It was a third and 21. If you can't get off the field on third and 21, you're going to have a hard time beating anybody. Coach, uh, even your special team struggled the other night. We had a punt blocked and, and, uh, uh, and it's a lack of uh, basically – we haven't. It was a formation. We work on it in, in practice, and but we have to. You got to hold on to your. You got to hold your block just a little bit longer than we did. And, and the right side of the line took off to cover the punt and let their guys go in there. And they had a cakewalk in there to block it and pick it up, and run it in. Coach, of course, this wasn't a region game, but it's one of those games. I know you wanted to get a, your team back some momentum headed into the region. And that's what you know. That's what you hope that we. You know, you can play well and do some things well and can build on that. And unfortunately, we. You know, that wasn't a lot to build on the other night. Uh, we second half we played them pretty much an even game. Second half and had a couple times we got the ball down the field and had a chance to score and didn't put it in. Uh, we just have to – we just got to go back. I, I said it Friday night, I think. We just have to roll our sleeves up kind of and, and get back to basics. And we're going to try to make this week kind of more like a, a preseason week. Well, this week the Dragons have Wartburg coming to town. It's homecoming 2021. We'll take a look at that when we come back. For more than a century, Union Bank has been serving the people of Fentress County. Now, as we begin a new chapter in our history of service, we want to take this opportunity to reassure you that while our building may be new, we're still the same friendly people you have known for years. Union Bank, the same people, the same goals, and the same commitment to you. Union Bank, your locally owned hometown bank for more than a century, growing to meet your needs. Equal Housing Lender member FDIC. And back here on the Coach Kerry Johnson Sports Show. Coach, this week you've got Wartburg. Wartburg's a team that's definitely struggled this year, but they played Oneida close. Yeah, they had Oneida. They actually should have beat Oneida. They had the ball inside the they had the ball inside the ten a couple times and didn't score. Got beat seven to nothing, and uh, kind of controlled the game a lot of the times. And then they turn around and Oakdale beat them, uh, a single A school who usually doesn't have a lot of success. Uh, Wartburg's a dangerous team. They got a couple of really good athletes, a pretty good quarterback, and a couple of good receivers, and they have one pretty good lineman. They can, you know, and if you, they can be dangerous. We gotta, we gonna have to play because we, you know, have got to step up and and know that we cannot go to. We got to keep our competition level at what we played when we played Bledsoe and Monterey and Oneida, and play at that level, and we can be. 
okay if we if we played uh, if we play like we did last week where we're not ready to go out there and step on the field from the get go we're going to be in, we're, we'll be in trouble. Coach, uh, what do you got to do to move the ball against Warburg? Well, that's what I said. We're going to go back and do some basic basic plays that hopefully this old old fashioned football. If we you know man on man blocking, nothing fancy. Get into your guy, drive him. Move, you know, take four yards, and we'll be happy with it. And then try to sit some sit some down the field plays up later. Just try to, like I said, keep the ball a little bit and build up some rhythm. Defensively, what do you got to do to stop them? Well, every every game so far, the last two or three games, we've had missed assignments on defense where we had a guy, two guys, shoot the same gap on a play, and they and they gashed us. We did. We've done it. We did it again last week. Uh, had a. On a, and, and one time a guy went on his own on, on an outside blitz that we didn't call and they, and they hit a touchdown on us. Guys have got to do their assignment, what the pre-snap call was, and do their assignment. If we can do that, I think if we hold, any, hold these guys in, in the under 20 that we can be fine. I don't think we – I think we're going to score some points if we can just – do basic fundamental football and do our assignments on defense. Your special teams can't have a breakdown this week. Oh, we, well, we'll go back to work. We, we spend a lot of time on special teams, and I expect us to be back to where we were beforehand. And I honestly, I, I really want to improve, especially on kickoff returns. We're, we're getting some better field position. Of course, uh, Stone was onside kicking on a regular basis, and we knew that was going to happen with those guys. They've done it on film. And uh, Wartburg, uh, they they got a kicker that kicks to about the 20, 25 yard line, so we should be able to get some decent field position. Coach, it's homecoming. Homecoming's a great thing in a lot of ways, but can be a big distraction as well. Well, they know what's expected of them. I think uh, they're going to know that our season hangs in, uh, hangs in the balance this week. Uh, if we want to have any kind of a, a good run here at the end, it's got to start with a win on homecoming. They got to know that yeah, have a good time, enjoy the Thursday night bonfire, and you know building the floats and all that kind of stuff. But it all comes back to what happens on that Friday on Friday night. If if you don't get that W, then it's homecoming kind of loses its luster. And it definitely loses its luster if it knocks you out of the playoffs because this game is pretty much a must win for the playoffs. Yeah, it's it's do or die. Like I said, this is this is everything hangs in the balance here. Uh, momentum to go into the last stretch of the season and and the winner of this is probably going to get a a, a playoff spot where that is is to be still be to be determined because you still got a couple more region games to go and we need a big crowd for this one. always and we hope that folks will turn out because not only is it homecoming but as, as we said it's a crucial game for you guys yeah we, and we need to get momentum and we need the support of everybody the student body that has done a great job our pep club we need everybody out here to support us and not just in uh to see the, the homecoming festivities but to see us you know try to get a w on friday we appreciate you talking with us coach and best of luck on friday thanks that's going to wrap it up for this edition of the Kerry Johnson Sports Show. Be sure to turn out Friday night. It's homecoming 2021. The Dragons take on Wartburg in a crucial region matchup, and they need you there for that 12th man. Till next week for 15104 Sports, I'm Gary Clark. See you at the game.